Now, we all like good superhero annuals, right? I'm, I'm, if you even know what an annual is. But who doesn't like a nice comic book annual? You get to read a really fun comic, while also participate in some really fun activities like crosswords and like those weird funny joining up mazes and colouring pages things. And what better thing to make a novel out of than not just the worst superhero film of all time, but one of the worst films ever. <coughs> Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Yes, this is definitely annual material. So I purchased this in uh, Wilkinson's when I was, I don't know, 12, 11, something like that, and I thought it was cool, you know, fun comic book annuals, fun activity, something to pass the time. But now, looking back on it, I'm a bit confused, because it's a film. How could you make an annual's worth of content out of a very, like, half an hour long film that didn't really have that much content in it? Well, we're about to find out, because I looked through this a couple times uh, in the past week, and its contents, much like the film, it's unbelievably shit. So I'm going to take a look at this very interesting annual and just see what it's like. Depending on how funny it is, I might not even upload this video. It might just be like a fun thing for me and my my mates to look at. Right, let's take a look. Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, Annual 2017. Oh, wait. This book belongs to... Hmm, who does it belong to? Me! Right. As you can see, it's a lot of bloody content for not even that detailed of a film. Ooh, a blurb. It all started with the Battle of Metropolis. A group of Kryptonian criminals arrived on Earth in their prison spaceship, the Black Zero. I'm not reading all of that. One question remains. Whose side are you on? Okay, well that's pretty cool. Okay, so, um... A brief description on Batman, basic stuff, not even like the actual comic Batman, like the one in the film. Boring! Oh, fun activities. Let's have a look. Where's Batman? Batman knows all about hiding his true identity and staying in the shadows. But can you spot the real Kate Crusader among the gang of imposters? Um, yeah, I wonder, where is he? Uh, I, I, I genuinely don't know where he is. Yeah, where, where the hell's the real one? Uh... How many imposters are there? I don't know, because um, there's quite a lot of them. I'm going to take a wild guess and say there's uh, over... 82. Right, what's next? Find the bat. How many times can you find the bat in this word grid? Oh yeah, that's what kids who love comic books and Batman vs Superman, that's what they really like. Bloody word grids. Right, we're not doing that. Ooh! Batman sketch. Use your hand-to-pencil combat skills and complete the other half of Batman. It appears my drawing skills are required for this one, so let's do it. My sketch is complete. I made him into a vegan activist. Next one! Okay, oh, uh, a brief blurb on uh, Superman in the film timeline. Boring! Right, some Superman activities. That's a massive bloody word search. Metropolis word search. Can you find the Superman related words? Look in the grid. Okay, let's see what words I can find then in this massive word search. Right, I managed to find three words. I found a uh, rep, uh, malpurser, and my personal favourite, veth. Right, uh, what's on this one? Hero skeptics. Oh, so it's just you've got to point out the, the bloody facts. Right, I, we don't, the kids aren't interested in that. Oh, joke. Oh, I love the jokes. Why is Superman known as the Man of Steel? Why? Because Man of Marshmallow would just make the bad guys laugh. <laughs> That's not funny at all. That is, that is actually terrible. Right. Oh, yes. Lovely. What are kids into? What are lovely, bouncing, excitable, comic-loving kids into? Maybe a lovely short little comic with memorable characters that develops them and really cool, flashy art. No! A bloody book! Now, I enjoy books as much as the next man, if the next man likes books. But realistically, kids are not go wanna gonna read, what, wanna gonna read, are not going to want to read a storybook. They, wanna, they, they want to read a bloody comic book with, like, cool art and shit. Right, we... Ugh. How long does this go on for? You can't escape it! 
Oh, what's this? Bat Cave Computer Code. Bruce Wayne has high tech computer. So I got to figure out the code. Okay, let's see what the code says. Okay, I've completed the code, and uh, I don't, I don't really get it. Uh, what could that mean? I don't. How does that relate to Batman? Oh, another great joke. What's Batman's favorite part of a joke? The punchline. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Uh, what's next? Okay. Alien superpowers. Superman is advantage over many superheroes. Okay, so it just lists all of his powers that are seen in the films and not the actual comic version. Right, what's next? Oh, interesting. Superhero nickname. Superheroes pick up awesome nicknames that strike fear into the hearts of all criminals and bad guys. Superman is known as the Man of Steel and the last son of Krypton. Okay, let's choose my name. Uh, let's go then. Okay, my superhero nickname is the Laser Runner. I might turn that into an actual character in my own comics. Right, next one! Supervision spotting. Okay, so you basically... Do you... What do you... Oh, you just match the bloody thing. Boring! Okay, which symbols, which symbols come into the next super sequence? This is math! This is not fun! This is not fun comic activities! This is maths! But no one likes maths! Hot off the press. Okay, so you have to make a newspaper article, which is... It's cool, I guess. Something to do. Right, what's next? Oh, more of an abysmal novel. Next one. Oh, more novel, for God's sake. Now, I don't... Ugh, I don't really know what these are. Are these... Are these stickers? Or I, th or something else? Uh, I don't know. I think these might be stickers or something to... Put. I don't know. I don't really know what these are. Okay, now we're actually getting into the quality stuff. Colour Superman. So, I must have made a start, but I got board halfway through. Oh, fun fact. The S on Superman's suit didn't originally stand for Superman. It's actually the symbol of the House of L, Superman's Kryptonian family, and it means hope in Kryptonian. Yeah, just like the fact seen in the bloody film. Okay, superhero symbol. Superman. Oh, okay, let's make, let's make myself a superhero symbol. Okay, my superhero name is, come on focus, the Blit Blooper, and this is his lovely symbol. Next one! Okay, more. now this is the stuff that's actually good, where it encourages kids to draw and use their limit imaginations. It's lovely. Okay, so... Batarang, grappling line, smoke grenades, grapple gun. Yeah, these are all of the gadgets that Batman has. Okay. Oh, we're gonna make a... let's make a Batman gadget. Okay, bonus. It actually says no complete li list of all Batman's equipment exists, so... All right, that was my mistake. Anyway, let's let's make a Batman gadget. Okay, my Batman gadget is the Bat Agreement Spray. All he all Batman needs to do is just spray it on someone, and it makes them automatically agree with all of his slightly questionable print, questionable principles. He actually this is I didn't even make this up. This is an actual gadget he uses. Why do you think he's still in the Justice League for? Anyway, right, more fun activities. Oh, it's like the. Okay, so ultimate bat suit. Da, 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 da. Oh, it just lists all of his uh, funny, funny gadgets and uh, oh, more crosswords. Yeah, crosswords, kids. Yeah. Okay, we've got a whole two pages dedicated to Wonder Woman. She only showed up in the film at the absolute last second and made absolutely no impact on it whatsoever. Okay, what fun Wonder Woman activities do we have? Tangled like Wonder Woman is using her awesome lasso to do battle. Which lasso line leads to LexCorp? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Okay, uh, what else? Lasso spiral. Da, da, da. Oh, for God's sake, another one of these stupid letters things. Are kids really going to be interested in, like, crosswords and shit? No! They want to draw and fun and learn about hit superheroes and superheroines like she... Using superhero precision to copy the picture of Wonder Woman into the grid. One square at a time. Okay, let's copy Wonder Woman, I suppose. Okay, here's my absolutely flawless reproduction of this image. It's impeccable. Right. I have no idea what the bloody hell that is. Next page. Epic maze. This isn't just any maze, kids. This is the epic maze. Okay, so we got to go all the way to the end. Right, let's do it. I did it! Get ready for maximum funny. We've got another joke. Why is the Man of Steel afraid of water? He 
be scared he'll come out rusty. <laughs> okay, so I actually managed to kind of color this one in when I had it in my possession when I was a young kid. Next page. Okay, so we've got we've got a rare occurrence. We've actually got a decent one here where you've got to color in the interior of the Batmobile and it actually lists out all the controls. That's decent, and we don't want decent stuff here. We're here to make fun of the shit stuff. So, let's see. Ooh, what's this? Thermal imaging. Test Batman's thermal imaging equipment and figure out which superhero has been caught in the scopes. Now, uh, I don't know about you, but to the to the average child, that would look nothing more than psychedelic scrawl. But... Let's see if I can identify who these people are. Okay, I identified them. They're Bart, M Jenkins, and Mary. The three most well-known superheroes ever. Look, the, look them up. Right, next page. Ooh, now this is interesting. Craft. Make a bat terrain. You'll need... I don't have any of that. Ask an adult hero for help. Now, um... Currently, I don't have an adult present, so, uh... Just gonna... Okay, so on this hat, in this page, we have more like standard boring crossword fill in the gaps part. And uh, what's this? Odd hero out. Oh, so we've got to find another odd one out. Uh, oh, I really don't know. Hmm. I wonder which one could be the odd one out. I really, I really have no idea. Oh, another decent one. Superhero sidekick. Pick your favorite superhero and draw an awesome helper for them. Is it a human, an animal, or a robot? What special powers does it have? Let's find out. Okay. My superhero is called Big Man, and he has the special power to make anyone around him either fear or respect him. Pretty good power, if you ask me. Right. Oh, which hero are you? Right, let's see what kind of superhero I am. Uh, none of them, because they're all shit. Oh, more novel. More novel. More... Oh. Superpowers spot the difference. Can you spot the difference? Uh... No, I really, I can't see any difference at all. Next page. Ooh, get ready for another maximum funny. What happens if the man of steel eats too many mushy vegetables? What happens, man? He turns into Superman. Okay, a, a battle quiz. Right, I'm, I'm not doing a whole bloody quiz. It's bad enough that I have to do them in my bloody time at college. It's, I don't want to do them here. Uh Okay, uh, Warrior Nang Game. Are you ready for word battle? See how many words you can make out from- Right, I think, here's my theory, I reckon this book is supposed to be educational. That's why loads of the activities aren't, aren't fun or cool. They're just all like maths and like English and like make out synonyms for Wonder Woman and shit. Oh, we can draw a shield though, maybe it isn't so bad. There you are, Wonder Woman's trademark shield. Oh, a good one. Battle draw. Who wins in a Metropolis showdown? Draw an epic battle between any characters you want. Ah, now this is an actually good one. I have the perfect battle. Okay, the ultimate showdown of epic proportions. Me versus the person who made this bloody annual. Okay, is, is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Now, what do I think of this annual? Well... It has more activities than a standard superhero annual, which I like, and I really like the drawing activities, those were fun, but the rest of the activities that were in it were absolutely god-awful for, for, for a kid, I mean. They weren't, they weren't fun, most of them were just focused on being like informative and educational and relying too much on English and maths rather than just being something fun to do. And it didn't even have a bloody comic in it, it had like a book in it, and as I said, books are cool and everything, but I would prefer like a, a full-on comic, so um, this gets a 6 out of... And uh, that's it, I suppose, uh, thanks for tuning in in this fun, like, odyssey. Uh, see you next time.